This is the second time I'm having to record this TikTok because I deleted it and my family thinks it's very funny what I'm doing. So the original research that shows the 56% I cannot find. This is from 2017, I believe, when Foria Wellness had their own in-house uh, research. I know this information because I was friends with their publicists and the reason I found out about Foria Wellness in the first place was because I was friends with her and this was the first uh, topical CBD that I had seen that people could use for intimacy. So this is how I know this particular fact. I was blown away by this information. So I can't find it, not to cite it, but I just want you to know that is where that number's from. But I did find an article from 2023 that supports the things that I'm saying. So let's just bring some research in. So this article from 2023, the influence of... I'm not saying the thing so I don't get my TikTok flagged. So I'm not going to read this to you, but you can pause to read. So sexual function is a physiological response that is associated with a sexual response cycle that includes desire, excitement, plateau, orgasm, and resolution. Sexual desire, also known as libido, is characterized as a sexual drive or interest in sex. True, this is very different than orgasm, but if there was a product that would increase your or orgasm by 56%, perhaps you would be piqued to try if you knew there was an improvement. So the entwined of the desire and arousal that reinforces the idea that desire and arousal are reciprocally reinforcing. So the idea is that the endocannabinoid system, and if you put cannabinoids where the vaginal tissue are, it improves blood flow, it causes vasodilation, there can be an improved lubrication, there is also the physiological response in other ways. But remember, improved blood flow is a good thing, improved lubrication is a good thing so this statement up here it has been identified to have a stimulating effect with intimacy and can intensify those experiences now keep in mind this is talking about a general category it is not specifically talking about that specific product i mentioned in an earlier video but the idea is the endocannabinoid system can work towards good and you have the endocannabinoid receptors in your vaginal tissues. Historically, in other cultures, it has been used as an aphrodisiac, increasing desire and arousal in individuals. This also is showing it is a vasodilator and there are endocannabinoid receptors in the vaginal tissue, like I said. So the moral of the story, this helps this. Also, my partner took my camera and he watched me do my TikToks and then he mockingly recorded and I saved it. So the echo cannabinoid system here <laughs> is where you will get the lubrication <laughs> over here. Pause to read. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I love you. He's pretty good, isn't he? Lubrication. <laughs> Also, I had to do this video twice and multiple edits, and I accidentally basically gave a TED talk about int intimacy and orgasm to my children and uh, partner as I had to re-record this, and our tween heard me say this over and over. So um, this TikTok is an interesting hot mess. <laughs>